programmers can get into this, uh, this masochistic mindset. It's like, oh, this code's so complicated and ugly, but you know, with my wizard like powers, I can barely the make power this through this. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to going, hey, why don't I set things up so that my next step is easy? Hi. My name is Sophie and welcome to Formations Mentor Series, where we chat with engineering heroes from all corners of the tech industry. Uh, so today I'm here with Ken Beck. You may already know of him, but he was the original founder of a lot of great software engineering practices, including agile software development and test-driven development. Uh, he worked at Facebook for seven years as a technical coach before eventually joining Gusto. And more recently, he's been authoring Tidy First, and it is this beautiful idea of incorporating refactoring into your day-to-day -day life as a way of engineering engineering self-care. So hi, Kent. Um, to start us off, can you tell us in your own words, uh, what is refactoring and why is it useful? There are two sources <laughs> of value in a piece of software. It's what it does today. So you can imagine that as a little engine. And if we restrict ourselves to, to say something economic, it costs us $100 to run it and it brings in $1,000 in, in revenue. And we just sit there and run it and run it and run it. So that's one source of value. Oftentimes, the greater source of value in software is what it can do tomorrow. So the computer doesn't care what the structure of the software is for running it today. So that first stream of value is just going to go chug, chug, chug. And if the code's ugly, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the second stream of value, the options for what it does tomorrow, the structure of the code matters a lot. And uh, there are differences of opinion about when you should decide on structure. My bias is to decide on structure as late as is reasonable. So rather than build some big complicated structure up front for how you think things might change, I wait until uh, I know how it's going to change or even how it does change and then tune the structure to the kinds of changes that you actually see. So refactoring are those changes to structure that make tomorrow's changes to behavior easier. That's awesome. Um, I've always had this thought that when I'm writing code, I'm not only writing code to support today's features, but almost uh, in anticipation to support future features that that may or may not even exist yet. We have this project called Tidy First, question mm -hmm. mark, which says, hey, I'm about to change this code, how it behaves, but the code's ugly. Well, should I tidy first? And sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. But that's how you keep the code fresh and able to change into the future. Whereas if you build a big structure that's prepared for changes in this direction, and then all of a sudden what the market needs is over in this direction, oh, you got to undo a bunch of stuff yes, before yes. you're prepared to go in another direction. I'd much rather wait, see how the winds actually blow, and then set the sails for that direction. Mm-hmm. So what is an example of a tidying to you? Uh, uh, the explaining variable. So you have the explaining variable tidying says you've got this big complicated expression, take a sub expression mm -hmm. and pull it out and assign it to a variable. And the name of the variable explains the mm -hmm. purpose of this sub expression and then use that. And now this big complicated expression gets smaller and smaller and easier to understand. So, so there's a tidy. So what is the difference to you between a refactoring and a tidying? Okay, so uh, refactoring is a change of the structure that doesn't change the behavior of the code. Mm -hmm. uh, a tidying, a tidying is, uh, so, but, but refactoring has kind of got a bad name. Oh, I need to go refactor for six months before I can blah, blah, blah. And so people don't don't do it at all. They don't make it part of their of their uh, daily practice. So tidyings are the cute, fuzzy little refactorings. It might be as some something as simple as I'm looking at a long routine and I realize, oh, this part computes this and this part computes that and that part computes that. So I'm going to put 
a blank line in between the segments. So it's just easier to comprehend. That's a tidy in. Well, I love that. I always think that you're only going to become great at doing things that you actually enjoy doing. So, you know, as an engineer, we have to take off that hat that we need to be solving these difficult, impossible problems. So, you know, I think the takeaway for today is if something feels hard to you, stop and ask yourself, should you tidy first? So thank you to Kent for sharing this tip with us. And we will see you all in the next edition of Formations Mentor Series.